Good afternoon. My name is Jerry True. I am a sinner, in case that surprises all of you. A little louder? Okay. I first made my confession, made my first confession, when I was a student at Union College in Schenectady, New York, and I went to St. George's Church. I had purchased a lovely prayer book called the, Confe the uh, Prayer Book of St. Augustine from the Order of the Holy Cross. And I must to say that I spent some time back then, we had what we call laundry lists, and we made a list of this, the confession, and that confession. I felt I needed to do that because I just felt that I wanted to experience the whole depth of the church that I had decided to become a member of. And I wanted to speak personally with the priest who could give me the assurance that my uh, approach was correct. All I remember from that is that I was terrified. Uh, they, they didn't have a confessional. They had a, you, you knelt behind the priest at the communion rail, right? Uh, but he assured me uh, that uh, I was doing the right thing by coming to him. And uh, it made me, I, I remember when I left, I was dancing down the street. I don't think I'd ever felt so, so happy and uh, lightheaded. But I, I am a sinner, and uh, in a way, that's a good thing because that's who Jesus came to save. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. A, a confession isn't about us trying to convince God to forgive us. It's not about that. He already has. It's about God trying to convince us that he has forgiven us and that that gift he has given us, we should use. If you give me $10, or no, let's make it more exciting. Give me a million dollars. I'll put it in my pocket. If I don't spend it, if I don't put it, make any use of it, you've given me a gift, but I haven't received it. God has given us all forgiveness. It's a free gift, you can't earn it. He gives it freely. He never withholds it. His love, his forgiveness are infinite. There is, no, there is no way we have to earn his forgiveness. But that million dollars or that ten dollars, whatever you want in my pocket, if I forget about it and if I don't use it, it really isn't a gift that does me any good. It is us learning how to use the gifts we have given, been given, that makes them useful for us, that makes them real in our lives. The love of God is real in our lives. The real God, the real love of God is in my life. Oh, I, I, I fail him probably, I, I don't know how many times a day, but he's there and he's always ready to hear my words, yes, of confession, but also my words. Uh, I, I, I say, Lord, please continue the work of creation that you have begun in me. I, my favorite bumper sticker that I see around is, please be patient. God isn't finished with me yet. And that's what I ask the people that I'm called to preach to or those that I'm called to be with, those that I'm called to have fellowship with, uh, the people that I, I live in, a, in an adult home now for older people, and we have great fellowship, uh, uh, and uh, uh, we do enjoy the presence of the Lord uh, in many ways. Lord, he, he is there for me. He, he gives me his grace. He gives me his hope. He gives me his his, his assurance. I've had many confessors tell me I'm a Jansenist. Now I had to look up what that means. And supposedly it means I'm someone who's very rough on himself but easy on others. Uh, and I think one of the purposes of a confession 
is for God to say to us, hey, don't be so rough on yourself. Yeah, I'll teach you how to be kind to others. I'll teach you how to love others. I, I will give you instances where you need to be more loving. You need to ask to be more kind. You need to ask to be more lenient on others and more loving toward the people around you. My prayer every day is, Lord, help me to love you more. Help me to love my brothers and sisters more, my fellow human beings. We all need that infinite love. We all need that infinite forgiveness. But we don't have to earn God's forgiveness. It is given free, 100%. And so uh, uh, there used to be an old joke about uh, about a, uh, a, a man who uh, comes to heaven and uh, uh, the, there's supposedly there's a guardian angel there who says, okay, well, now let's see. Let's see if you're qualified to come into heaven. So he said, well, what do I have to do? And he said, uh, well, oh, okay, uh, uh, do, you give to, do you give tithe to the church? And he said, oh, yeah, I give tithe. The guy said, okay, well, that's, he says, first of all, what do I have to get? He says, why, 100%? He said, well, uh, okay, I tithe to the church. How much is that? He said, one quarter of a percent. And he said, oh, well, I say the, the Lord's Prayer at least four or five times a day. What does that count? He says, oh, maybe quarter of a percent. And he says, well, I, I, I've, I've spoken to sinners, and I've, I've fed the hungry and fed the poor. And uh, he said, what's that? Well, maybe another quarter percent. He said, oh, Lord, it's only by the Lord's grace I'm going to get into this place. And the, Lord's, and the angel says, there's your 99%. But it isn't 99%. The Lord's take, the gift, is the 100%. We don't earn our salvation. We don't earn the grace that God gives us. He gives it to us. All we have to do is learn how to love each other and to use that gift that he gives us to love him, to love his children, you and I, and all of his people, to love his church, and to forgive the sins of those who uh, are perhaps uh, offensive to us, uh, it's sometimes easy to lose our temper. It's sometimes easy to want revenge. We put away all those things. We offer them to the Lord. And uh, in the sacrament of confession, I do believe that we are given the grace to carry on. And we are not convincing God to forgive us. He already has. We are convincing ourselves to love and to take and to use and to give thanks for the gifts that he has given us, the gift of his grace, which is always a gift, never something we earn. It's always a gift, hopefully, that we can learn to appreciate and use to his glory.